everyone and welcome to another edition of uh, preaching to the choir ministries and today as promised I'm gonna have an informal conversation slash debate or whatever you want to call it with an atheist and today we're here in uh, what is this Irvington? Yeah, Irvington Borderline North. In Irvington Borderline North and for those of you who don't know which atheist I'm talking to, I'm talking to the, the person you guys know as the psychopath atheist. Uh, I'll let him get into that a little bit more about why he calls himself that and that's his proper YouTube name or not, okay? So, without further ado, I give you the psychopath atheist. Why do you call yourself that, by the way? <laughs> well, um, I got a, a hip hop background. You know, um, I actually made a song about 15 years ago entitled Psychopath. People love the song, so the name kind of stuck, and I just kind of rolled with it. And for those of you who are wondering, why uh, his head is down, you can't see his face. Well, some people um, want their privacy to be respected. What a concept. People actually want privacy on the internet. So he's an atheist, I'm respecting his privacy. So he does, he's not gonna show his face, he doesn't have to. All we care about is the views and what we're gonna talk about here today. Ain't that right? Pretty much, yeah. That okay, cool, right. so let's get to the first topic. Uh, we're both African Americans, right? Can you put your hand up there for everybody so they can see your hands at least? Oh yeah, what's going uh, yeah, on yeah. He's an African American, guys, just like me. Now let, let let's get into the first topic here. As an atheist, and I'm a Christian, uh, is it wrong for a human being to own another human being in and of itself? Is it wrong for another human being to own another human being within itself? I feel it is. Why is that? Um. Well, I I feel like it's unethical to own a person, you know, because I don't feel like we're animals, so to speak. I, I feel like, you know, I feel like that's going to get right. I mean, like, when you say this, like, what do you mean? Like, you got to be a little bit more specific because I know you hold the position that um, the military owns you and everything else, and, and which is actually, I agree with you, you know. I, I'm actually, you know, kind of hard on the process of the military. I understand it. But I'm a little bit hard on it because I do understand that once you sign those paperwork, they do own you for whatever amount of time you sign those paperwork for. So what I mean by it is this pretty much. I mean, I mean it by uh, put the camera on me now. Uh, what I mean by that is, is that, uh, OK, you own me. You got the papers. You have the right to tell me to do whatever you want me to do. But the point is, is that you haven't told me to do anything yet. You just own me. That's what I mean by in of itself. You own me. You haven't told me to do nothing. You have the papers. I'm your property. I'm your money or whatever. The fact of the matter is you own me. I want to know how is that morally wrong uh, well, for you to own me. <laughs> the thing is, okay, see, when you say that, it's like, okay, you're giving them the, once, you, once that person owns you, you're giving them the right to pretty much do whatever it is they want to do with you because they do own you. Uh, so, I mean, I think you're coming from the perspective is just because they own you don't necessarily mean that they're going to be do bad things to you. But I can take it back to slavery days where all the masters wasn't really considered bad masters. All Most of the overseers, like, you know, you had the overseers and you had the masters. You know, the masters were the people that was in the house that actually owned the slaves. But then you had the overseers who was looked at as kind of like, you know, in lack of better terms, like sheep herders, so to speak, kind of like, you know, like, you know, they was the ones who oversaw the slaves, kept the slaves in line, told the slaves what they what they need to do, when they need to do it, how they need to do it. And, you know, like those were pretty much the the Though they caught the backlash of a lot of the slaves because like a lot of the slaves at Amasis came towards the overseer more so than the actual master. Because sometimes the overseer did stuff that the master didn't even know the overseer was doing. You know, a lot of those rapes and stuff that happened amongst the black women came from the overseers and not necessarily the masters. And um, so like it actually the word, whole word cracker. A lot of people don't know where the word cracker comes from. A lot of black people use that terminology when it comes to white people. The terminology of the word cracker actually came from the overseers cracking the whips 
across the slaves' back whenever the slaves did something wrong. And the crack, and they used to, the slaves used to hear that crack of the whip, and they would get very upset. And and they would, and the whole terminology "cracker" stemmed from that because of the crack of the whip. So, well, well, they, okay, but, but here's the thing, though. I, I I get that, and I understand that. Um, that 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 these slave owners that that was here in the United States, uh, was was was. <laughs> was horrible pretty much man they, they, they had us doing some pretty disgusting things they were raping our women um um we had literally almost no rights whatsoever until yeah, like you know, know almost not almost we had no rights when we were slaves zero we was less than human well we can get into that in a minute but you know what i'm inclined to agree with that for now but the bottom line is i'm talking about before they told us to do anything the atheist will say, or the humanist will say, that, um, that that is wrong for another person to own you. What if I voluntarily um, became someone's slave? You and I agree that there's nothing wrong with indentured servitude, right? Indentured servitude? Yeah. Not so much. I don't have... Uh, indentured servitude is not a problem. Now, I know when, when, when people, when Christians mention indentured servitude, uh, um, they actually refer to the Hebrew slaves. And well, well, I'm sorry. I'm going to cut you off there a minute. Uh, we're not just talking about the Hebrew slaves. We're talking about in any situation. And that's no, your servitude when you voluntarily I'm, go into something where a person owns you for a few years, meaning you have to do what they tell you to do. And, and you that could be a maid or, a, I'm well, sorry, a living nurse, a living maid or a living butler. You're working for them. Yeah, you're getting paid. Exactly. But at the end of the day, you still got someone telling you what to do. Yeah, but that's no different than a job. That's why I said, like, in that's your servitude is a little bit different. Then, like when people say slavery, they're not thinking indentured servitude. You know, like indentured, like you said, indentured servitude is something like it's like an agreement that you make with a person, like um, when you do uh, x amount of work for x amount of time. You know, and you agree to either get paid x amount, or uh, you know, or you might maybe you owe a debt. You know what I'm saying? And um, so, and you voluntarily go into that agreement. So that you could pay back your debt, but but either during the year of jubilee or after the seventh year, you will let go. But the yeah, point of the matter is, the Bible Hebrews, still looks at it as slavery, those though. Those are the Hebrew slaves. Now, the slaves from the other nations, that's the one that's more in line with what black people went into in this country. Because the slaves from other nations, those are the ones that were slaves forever. If they had kids, their kids were slaves right. forever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like these, like these, So that would fall more in line to what black people went um when it went um got into with this country or whatever with um whole transatlantic slave trade well i agree with you with that but the point of the matter is nobody told you to do anything you wasn't treated any kind of way see in order for something to be morally wrong there has to be some action that follows in other words if this person owns me and then they're raping me and they're raping my family and do, t doing all kinds of horrible things to me and telling me to do horrible things i agree with you that kind of slavery is bad however what if a person owns you and they give you a billion dollars and tells you to go out there and oh. to give away this money to as many poor people as possible i cannot call that a moral okay. evil okay. because you're not in bondage to doing good the same way the, the atheist is in bondage to their logic and their reasoning and to uh, looking at science as being one of the best explanations of, of how we understand the natural world they're slaves to that because they they, they, they don't have a whole lot of all, uh, uh, other uh, alternatives to how they see the world uh, okay so gathering from what you're saying i'm taking it that you okay with how the hebrew slaves are being treated in the bible <laughs> but the, uh, the, the slaves of the other nations um, that's why I'm interested where you stand with that. You know? Well, what I stand with that is, is that, um, that when the Jews conquered the land, the Jews was able to take, uh, slaves from these particular nations. I believe some of them were virgin women. Some of them, uh, it was just different circumstances. Um, I would say that if the, if the Jews owned them and, and was, um, uh, 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 and was doing immoral things with them and telling them to do immoral things, I'm totally in, in agreement with you. And I believe... In Israel's history, we could probably find a couple of uh, situations where this happened, but they would be in sin. They would be going against the Mosaic Law, but if they took a slave, and they're under the Mosaic Law. Uh, in other words, if, if that slave were to run away, that slave could stay away. If um, you, you wasn't allowed to rape their women, you wasn't allowed to do the things that was done in the transatlantic slave trade. Well, we, me and you both agree that what, what, that what went on in the transatlantic slave trade was disgusting. However, in order for an atheist to say that, that, the, that the Hebrews did something immoral, they have to be able to point out a scripture and show where it actually happened. Not what coulda or shoulda or what probably happened. They actually got to give me an example of, of, of what actually happened. And I'm probably going to agree with them. And I'm pretty sure it's going to go against the Mosaic Law.
See, the things that God condoned is what God told the Israelites to do. You'd be surprised how many things that the, that the Jews couldn't do. Why they owned these slaves, even if they came from a foreign land. Yeah. But but uh, the reason why I want to discuss this with you is because I'm always talking about this with people who don't have the perspective that you and I have about um, about uh, yeah about slavery. I mean, me and you, our ancestors were slaves in this country for crying out loud. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm talking to a David Weiser, or a Holy Speckle. I don't know about their ancestors. I don't know what they were going, what was going on with them. All I know is in this country, what 200 years ago, 300 years ago, was slavery in this country, and me and you are taught this a lot younger. <laughs> than, than, than most people. We don't went to U.S. history class. Our parents are telling us about this from the time that we're little. So, of course, we're going to have a larger perspective on what it is. You know what I mean? You could be a slave to debt. You could be a slave to, to, to a lot of different things. Does not necessarily mean it's wrong in and of itself, but you got to explain why it's morally wrong. And you got to go into details. And you can't say, oh, because it takes away my autonomy. You have to have a... Uh, a, a moral wrong that that's going on because if a person willfully goes into it what are you talking about there Tommy they made a moral choice to do it and if everything is subjective aren't they entitled to their opinion yeah well I, I guess I, I, okay when you say um, people um, I'm sorry for the passion <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry it's, it's cool it's cool I understand you know I, I get passionate myself so who am I to judge right. um, so you know like I understand what you're saying and everything else, and um, you know, as far as the agreements and everything, again, we're talking about digital servitude, and um, like I said, digital servitude, I, I have a different opinion on as far as like slavery, I kind of look at it a little bit different, and um, there was slavery in the Bible, but there was also a digital servitude, and I think people get it mixed up, and I just kind of like want to specify that, you know, there is a difference between the two, and but both was going on in the Bible, and like so when you when you when people address slavery within the Bible, they need to be extra specific that they're talking about the people of other tribes and other nations, and not necessarily the Hebrews, because the Hebrews were addicted servants, and that's a little bit different. Well, let me ask you another question. I put the camera back on myself again. For those of you wondering what the background noise is, yeah, as you can see highway, that there's a so we're by the highway, so we apologize for that. We're here in uh, what's the name of this part? Uh, uh, I, I don't know if I want to say it, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we're, we're over here in the park and, you know, we're having this conversation. I'm going to ask him now about uh, about how it feels to be a black atheist. Uh, this North Irvington, where the heck we're at. Because uh, it's kind of hard to tell where we are because the border, we're close to the border or whatever. So my question for you is, 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 is as an African-American living in New Jersey, because we're always told about how, how many atheists there are in the world <laughs> and the percentages and whatnot. Uh, since since me and you are face to face and we're being real, how hard is it for you to be an atheist in this community or uh, here in Jersey? Well, <laughs> being a, keep it real, man. Like, keep it real. <laughs> I, well, I, I'm gonna keep it real. Um, like you know, big, I, like I said, you know, black people in this country is a minority within itself. You know, we only represent, I believe, 13% uh, of the population, and out of that 13% of the population, 90. 6% of the um, black community is religious in some form of fashion and believe in some sort of deity. So that would put me in the 4% of the 13%. <laughs> so that would make me a minority within a minority. You understand? So what it's I'm tough, like, man. It's tough. It, it's real tough. Like I hear, like I hear, um, you know, European um, the, um, um, atheists, excuse me, European atheists talk about how it's rough and they being discriminated upon, which I agree. I agree atheists as a whole are discriminated discriminated on um, within this country, whatever they frowned upon. Not as much as when I was younger, but it's, they still have that stigma on them. And, but when you're within this community, it's a little bit different because like, I, I am really outside the, my, my, I'm really outside the box here. You know, like um, everybody I talk to, like I said, is religious and they ask me what my spiritual beliefs are. And when I tell them, they kind of look at me like, whoa, like, you know, like where did that come from? You know, like. Do a lot of people around here know what a real atheist is? Like, 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 like can they give you a, a good definition of what it is when you talk to people for the first time about some what an can. atheist is? Some can. Some believe atheism is synonymous with uh, um, being a Satanist. Okay, all right. Yeah, so, That's I mean, what I was saying not too long ago. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I'm sure some ways you probably still feel that way in some ways. I, believe it or not. But uh, 
uh, you know, but you you but you do know by definition that's not the case. And um, you wait know. a minute, wait a minute. According to Matt Dilla, honey, uh, the dictionary is, is only used for usages. It doesn't define words. Well, <laughs> that's a whole nother debate. That's a whole nother debate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You did that to yourself, man. You did that to yourself. That's a whole other thing. But, um, you know, like, it, um, people look at you, you know, they think, some people think you, you worship Satan. I used to get that a lot when I was younger, before the internet age. And, you know, like, you know, because back then, before the internet age, people was real ignorant to what an atheist is, at least in this community. You know, like, because they never really met atheists. Like, they're not used to being around atheists. They right. Like, only, they just know what they heard right so you know again you know and them them coming from a theological aspect of things they looking at it like you're against god right which is another thing i want to talk to you about but they, 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 look, at you, <laughs> they look at it like you're against god when that's not actually the case well oh yeah we're definitely going to get into that later but uh in your defense you're right a lot of people around here don't know what an atheist is because they're not on the internet because their pastors are telling them not to go on the internet and not to believe everything they hear on the internet and I'm kind of happy they're doing that, but it would be good if people was a little bit more educated. Uh, and, and, and I know Veckel uh, 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 agrees with me um, with this in part. That it's good to have your faith tested to a certain degree. So that you know when, when, when you're done with your faith being tested or whatever, you're able, you're able to be able to stand up against you know, various differences of opinions that you're going to run into in the world. You know, an atheist is a person who simply does not believe that God exists by definition, according to the dictionary, right? Yeah. Now, I have a problem with the with the definition and how the atheists conduct themselves, but for the sake of this conversation, I want to make sure people know I know what the definition is. An atheist is someone who does not believe that God exists. And you have different varieties of it. Some of them, some of them are agnostic, and they'll say that they don't know if God exists. You have some of them out there, uh, weak atheists that are agnostic, I guess. I don't know. Like, you got the strong atheists and militant atheists, crazy atheists. I want to touch on that too. I'm, I'm of a, I'm of the mindset that I don't believe agnostic is a label of itself. I believe it's a label within a label. I believe I hold the position that agnostics are weak atheists. That's what agnostics are. I'm of the mindset that you have atheism and you have theism. You have a whatever. Whatever label you want to have, once you establish that you're either an atheist or a theist, it's on you. You know, like, you have, like, I believe deists are theists. You know, I believe deists are theists. I don't want to put them in their own category. You know, you believe in a higher power, that will make you a theist. And well, deism's kind of weird because deism kind of uh, uh, hangs on the idea what agnostics say. They, 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 they claim that you can't know God personally. So the agnostic says that that uh that that they don't know if god exists the deist is this one step above by saying that god does exist but you can't know him personally yeah exactly and like the way i see it if you're agnostic your whole your whole uh mindset is you lack the knowledge of god you believe this you believe you don't know nothing about god you, you maybe you don't even care uh uh you know you might believe that there's no way you can gain knowledge of god um which i i, I actually agree with but um that, but my whole thing is if you're a theist like when you're dealing with theists and atheism you are dealing with a belief system you are not dealing with a knowledge system so it's kind of a cop out when somebody asks you do you believe in a god of God?" and they turn around and say well I don't know and that's just what it, like if you if you don't know that means you lack a belief in a god I have to warn you though scholar fiction might see this and actually disagree with me because he's he claims to be a deist. <laughs> okay, and I, I believe again, I believe deists are theists. But right. um uh, like at, but um agnostic though, that's the tricky one because like if you want to get technical, everybody's agnostic about something. Like I said, it's a it's a cop out because I'm not asking you do you know God. I'm not if I asked you if you knew God and you told me you was agnostic, I would accept that. But if I tell you if I ask you whether or not you believe in a God of God and you tell me you agnostic that's not answering my question right 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 my right. question is do you believe in a god of god and if you don't know if you believe in a god of god that means you lack that means you lack a belief because if i asked you do you believe in a god of god you're going to immediately tell me yes you ain't going to bat your eye you're going to tell me yes if i ask Vecu, do you believe in a god of god he's going to say yes without blinking the eye right if you ask an atheist that he's going to tell you no 
And then if you ask the agnostic that, you're going to be like, hmm, well, I'm not sure. That's a lack of belief. That's a lack of belief. You don't, because if you had a belief, you would tell me yes. You wouldn't think about it. It wouldn't be a, no discussion, nothing. We are talking about a belief system, not whether or not you have knowledge of it. Well, I believe that atheists have a belief system. Now, I, I, I made a video saying that atheists have a belief in the lack of a belief in a God. And they defend it like a... How can I put this? They they defend it like a religion. <laughs> you know what I mean? They they got they. Not only do they have their definition for what atheism is, but they have names for all of the arguments for God. And there a lot of them that are informed are prepared to defend their atheism according to the arguments that they heard from other people. And I believe they do it like a belief system. Now, let me get an example of what I'm talking about. They already know about uh, Pascal's wager, for example, right? So if if I go to somebody and I sincerely and I never heard of Pascal. I never heard the argument a day in my life. And I just went to them naturally. And I said to an atheist, uh, you know, uh, you know, you're taking a pretty big gamble. You can't prove to me that there's no God. But, you know, uh, look at it like this. I mean, at least if you become a believer, at least you'll have eternal life. If you remain the way you are and I'm right, you're going to go to hell. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you really have nothing. Well, actually, I have nothing. Well, okay. But, okay, you don't have nothing. to. You have everything to lose and I don't. You understand what I'm saying? So, so my point to you is this: Why are atheists uh, so quick to go? Oh, that's Pascal's rager. You got that from Pascal. A lot of Christians never even heard of that before. This is something that naturally comes out of them when they hear the argumentation that comes from the atheist community. Now, like, like, what do you think about that? So you're referring to the whole the whole Pascal wager and like and a lot of the other arguments. They got the clock. They got the watchmaker uh, argument. They got the uh, I mean arguments. That go against the watchmaker argument. Well, they got arguments against Pascal's wager. They got arguments against the precept. They got arguments almost against everything except for what I'm asking, the direct question, but we'll get to that in a minute. There's usually always counter arguments to everything. You know, it's, it's, it's never it's, it's never an argument that can be presented that can't be counter argued in some form or fashion. Um, I don't know about that. The presuppositional argument is pretty strong. It, and it's so it's strong, the atheist really. community, the atheists themselves use it. It's, 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 I, the way I feel about the precept arguments is a lot of smoke and mirrors. It's a lot of taking. It's a lot of taking people down meaningless trails and playing word games and semantics. Like a lot of it is people pretty much arguing over the matrix and time <laughs> contingencies and stuff like that. Stuff that, that once you start stepping outside of reality and you start arguing with me about stuff that doesn't even resonate with me, as far as like different, like you know, like I said, like different universes, alternate universes, and everything, stuff that you can't even prove that exists. You are now. You are now stepping into the realm of theism. When you're talking to me about stuff that I don't understand, stuff that I've never seen, stuff that I don't believe even exists until it's proven to me that exists. Well, let's so get I, to my argument. Let's get to my argument about what I say on YouTube. I always tell the atheists that they know that God exists and just suppressing the truth and unrighteousness. A lot of them will get offended when I say that because I'm claiming to know what's going on in their head. I don't mm -hmm. think what they understand is what I'm saying to them is, is that if you haven't taken the time out to do the work to see whether or not this God exists, and we're asking you to do certain things, like uh, approach him on faith, and you haven't done that, then, it, then then immediately I'm coming to the conclusion that you don't care if he exists or you don't want him to exist. Therefore, you're suppressing that truth. You don't want the truth. You don't want God to be real because you disagree with, with, with his morality. And that's about 98% of the conversations that I have on the Internet. Even the atheist got... The uh, atheist pointed this out to a certain degree on my last Google Hangout, G-Man vs. The World 34, where he said that atheists keep constantly changing their burden of proof and they're changing their arguments all the time just so that they don't have to admit that there's a God. You do understand that that you can admit that God probably, that God might exist or there's a really good chance he might exist and you can still not be a Christian, right? You do understand that, right? And that's what I'm trying to explain to, oh, the, to the atheists. Definitely. See, like, well, that part I agree with definitely as far as, like, you know, like, it's, 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 atheism is more than just denouncing the Christian God. Like, me, myself, when I went through my journey, to see if I actually was an atheist or not, you know, because I was never a theist. But um, I did take a journey to, to, to see if these people know something that I don't know. Because I, you know, again, I'm walking around. Everybody, everybody's a theist. You know, everybody around me is theists. All my friends, my family members, everybody's theists. It, it never resonated with me, and I thought I probably was doing something wrong. Like maybe they know something I don't know. Maybe it's something I need to look into. Mm -hmm. So I went, made my journey, looked into different religions. You know. Christianity, Islam, I got looked into um, um, being a Catholic, everything. Like I looked, I looked into all that, and nothing ever resonated with me. It just never clicked. 
but and, and that's always this is why I always get <laughs> uh, I, well, I always get on you about your statements about how there is no such thing as real atheists. Like, I, like I know the position you hold, and, I, and I, it's like you gotta understand. I bet you want to look at this camera now. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> don't do it though. Don't do it. <laughs> it's like, it's like, um, cause like me myself, I'm not like I said. I never was a theist, so I never deconverted. I'm not a person who deconverted. I can understand your argument a little bit. If you're talking about somebody who deconverted, right? Because at one point in time in their life, they did believe in a God. They were forced to believe in a God. Most of them tell them that their mommy and daddy made them go to church. Well, well, That's that what most of them will tell you. That could be the case. Alex Byers says you're gonna love this one. Alex Byers says that he was a Christian for 20 years. 20 years. No one showed him a drop of evidence that God isn't real. Now all of a sudden he wants me to believe that he's an atheist. No, he's not an atheist. He's an anti-theist. He hates religion. He hates Jesus. He hates Christianity. He loves he, I'm not gonna say he hates all religions, cause that's baloney. He loves let Fiona's me, religion. Let me also, let me also say that. <laughs> and I, I, let me repeat that. Hold on a minute. You're my witness, psycho. I say he loves Fiona's religion, right? <laughs> because you know what they're gonna say? Oh my God, Jamie is creating drama. <laughs> let me say that too. There is a they, um, if um, being anti-atheist and being theist are two separate things. Right. You know, I I do hold the, I do hold the position that you cannot be an anti-theist without being an atheist. But you can be an atheist without being anti-theist. You know, they, they're two separate things. You know, like, again, when you're dealing with atheism, you're dealing with a, a belief system. Uh, when you're dealing with anti-theism, you're dealing with, uh, you're, deal you're dealing with something else completely different. You're dealing with a belief system and hatred. You're dealing with belief system and hatred. They hate religion. Yeah, they they, yeah. they, they want to, this is what the anti-theist is saying to me. They want to take away my right to practice my beliefs in this country. That's what, but anti, but then they'll get angry when I make a video and I say, well, we should never have an atheist as the president of the United States. If you, I mean, seriously, if, if you're going to be able to get on YouTube and say we need to get rid of religion, fine. You're never going to be the president, so we're never going to see that happen. Yeah, I, you understand well, what I'm saying? It's stupid. It's a lot of dumb things on the internet. I have softened my stance for my anti. I am an anti-theist. <laughs> you want to get rid of my rights? I have so, no. Wait, let me, let, me, let me finish. I softened my I softened my stance on that over the years. Yeah. I'm still an anti-theist, but I softened my stance on it because you know I had to come to the realization that religion is never going anywhere. You know, being, oh, oh, say that again. Religion is never going to go anywhere. Say that one more time. I, I hate to admit. It, <laughs> <laughs> but religion is never going to go anywhere. You, oh, 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 sorry, one, one second, one second, one second. You heard it directly from an atheist. Religion ain't going nowhere, so stop fighting this fight because you're wasting your time. Anyways, let's now, go. I'm not, now, <laughs> religion is never going to go anywhere on the simple fact that even if you did ban, ban religion, will probably just turn around and... and um, create a war. It will create more theists, I think. Exactly. <laughs> I think it will create more theists because you're always going to have a, a rebellion mindset amongst society. There's always going to be people that's not going to want to um, perform with the with, with what's going on amongst society, whatever. They're going to want to do whatever is is as anti whatever, you know, like anti religion, um, um, anti supremacy, right? Um, anti anti whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like whenever some. Whenever something gets too big, you always gonna have that small niche of people that's gonna be like, no, this isn't right. I'm not rolling. Like, I mean, you got people flat earthers for this. Too many people think the world's round. <laughs> too many people think the world's round. So now they, you got a bunch of individuals going around saying that the world's down flat. Well, this is their logic with that though. And I've, I've been reading a lot of their comments. They're saying since the government lies about certain sciences, then we shouldn't trust NASA. Therefore, the earth is flat. You know what I mean? I'm like, come on. It's like, ridiculous. As, as long as they ridiculous. don't come to my hangouts with that, that's all right. But they come to my Google hangout with that nonsense, man. <laughs> and you know, and you know I, what I really believe the whole flat earth thing is all about, I don't know if you agree with me or not. I think not. it's trolling. That's what I think I don't it know is. What, yeah, I'm about to say, I don't know if you agree with me or not. I definitely think it's trolling. But I think, I think it's, trolling. it's trolling from the theists. I think the theists, are, are, I think the theists wanted to find something to grasp onto to try to discredit science. And this is what they this is what they decided to leak on um, the last. You don't gotta use that to discredit science. You can look science. at the nuclear. You can look at the atomic bomb or the hydrogen bomb or or or, or all these uh, uh, chemical uh, weapons that that we've created. You the know what I mean? This, the we don't way need this. The way it disproves science is by science. 
that's the only way to discredit science is through, uh, through science. Well, you science, cannot, is, a, science you, is a broad word, though. Like, what cannot, do you mean by that, though? You cannot, you mean evolution? You cannot, well, any, t any type of science, mm -hmm. anything. The only way, like, not just evolution, any, I'm just saying science in general is a self corrected process. Right. So the, the way to correct science is through science. You cannot sit up here and make up some conspiracy theory in your head and think you're, <laughs> and think you're going to just dispute science. Like it, it, it doesn't work like that. Right. You right. know, like you can you can sit up here and reject the idea of science or reject the concept that the world is round all you want, but that don't make it true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Well, like, I definitely believe the world is round, and, and and until I see some evidence, until somebody goes into outer space with a camera and proves otherwise, and uh, I'm going to continue to believe that. But anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's do some word association. Let's get away from this debating for a little while and okay. actually uh, get to some word association. Uh, when I give you a name, just give me a couple of words to describe the person. Veckel. <laughs> <laughs> I like Veckel. I like Veckel. Veckel was actually the first theist I, I talked to on, on G Plus Hangout. He, uh, um, we, we built for a while and everything else. And Veckel was a good dude. Beck was a good dude, you know. He's, you ain't he's just saying that. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't just saying that, nah, are you? No, no, no. He's intellectually honest. You know, we don't agree on a lot of things, but right. we don't disagree on everything either. Right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? You right. know, he's a good dude. Right. And he, uh, anybody who's intellectually honest and and, and um, is respectful, I can rock with. And Beck was all them things. So I'm okay, what about you and Parasism? <laughs> I don't know a lot about him. I really don't know a lot about him. I don't watch a lot of his stuff. I, I catch I catch some of his stuff when people make videos about him. I might go back and watch and see what they're talking about or whatever. So I, I don't really know him too good to have an opinion on him. So I don't really want to... You know, Fiona. Fiona? Fiona is interesting. <laughs> Fiona Why is Fiona interesting? <laughs> well, she's interested because she's a theist who, who supports um, evolution, which isn't... Is it odd, so to speak, because I know a lot of theists who do support evolution? Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's, I'm not going to say it's, 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 um, it's weird. I'm going to say she's interested with her views. Her views are interesting. Well, I'm glad you called her a theist because if you would have said Christian, man, I mean, the debate would have started again. Well, she, she claims <laughs> to be a Catholic. She claims to be a Catholic. Right. And there's a difference between Roman Catholicism and Christianity, right? You think, um, right? Uh, well, <laughs> it depends on what you're talking about. Listen, you know, listen. I, I don't support say, the Inquisition. I would say I would yeah. say, when I say Christianity, I'm not. I, I, I'm using the broad sense of the word most of the time. Okay. When you say Christianity, you're talking about Christians specifically. Right. And, that, right. and that's it. Okay. And I, All right. I, I'm using it as a more broader aspect of things. So. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's just an Yo, we, we we didn't do nothing. We didn't do nothing. We really didn't do nothing. Please. <laughs> you gotta be careful out here, man. They might look at it and say, "Why are you holding that camera to this guy? What are you doing? You, you people are committing crimes." Oh, and that brings me to another name. Atheism is unstoppable. What's your opinion to him? I don't know too much about him either. Oh God, he said black people commit more crime. No, oh, actually. you talking about? You talking about Kevin Rubin? Atheist rule. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We commit.
Well, sorry about that. Sometimes uh, phones ring. So here we go again. Uh, next word we're going to use is going to be Matt Dillahunty. What's your opinion of him? Matt Dillahunty? Um, Matt Dillahunty is cool. You know, he, he has a show. I watch it from time to time. I haven't watched it in a while. Uh, I don't know. I don't have no real strong opinions either way with him. You know, I, I feel like, you know, he does a decent job defending atheism for the most part. Okay. All right. So, Iron Raw. I like Iron Raw. I like Iron Raw. Um, I, I watch a lot of his stuff. He does really good lectures. Um, he does a good job explaining evolution. Uh, he, he's, 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 um, he, I, I like Iron Raw. He's, he's, he's unique. <laughs> J.D. Kane. J, 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 the, 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 uh, the guy who hosts TST. Yeah, that dude. Talking uh, Stupidity Tuesdays. <laughs> I don't, I, I, I don't, uh, again, I don't really, I didn't, I never really talked to him too much. I think I got on the show one time and, uh, the conversation was kind of like, they was talking about stuff I didn't really know too much. I couldn't really contribute to the conversation. What about Nadia? I like Nadia. Nadia's cool people? Nadia's real cool. Nadia's real cool. Nadia, I, not, I, 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 yeah, I like Nadia. I like Nadia. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's okay. real cool. She, she got real strong views. She's fu it's funny. Uh, <laughs> she's funny because she, she, she'll she just come out of nowhere and just talk about how, yeah, Jesus. there is no God. God don't exist. And that, that's, that's pretty much like, that's it. <laughs> I, yeah, I Nadia like is a trip. Nadia yeah, is a trip. Yeah, I like Nadia. Nadia is one of the nicer, nicer atheists on yeah, YouTube, she, right? Yeah, got a good heart. Got a good heart. I like Nadia. Yeah. Okay. So, so I mean, except for the fact that she's a communist, and we'll talk about that another time. But uh, how you doing, Nadia? <laughs> you know, she got some interesting opinions about communism. You know, like you should really listen to her talk about it. Like, you know, um, communism is frowned upon in this country because of all the years we had um, all the people, people that were killed. People <laughs> with and, and yeah, communism might not have. Um, it might have fell into the wrong hands. And you know, that, that doesn't mean it's a, a bad system just because it fell into the wrong hands. You know, if anything falls into the wrong hands, it could be misused, like religion. I mean, how many people you know wave the Bible and use it the wrong Jim way? Jones, exactly. Use. I got you. Totally understand that. Okay, so, uh, and then there's Hitler and a whole bunch of other people. But uh, I get what you're saying. Uh, but this ain't a debate, so I gotta try to remember that. Uh, <laughs> let's see if I can think of someone else. Who, oh, okay, do you know what Red Line is? I like Red Line. I like Red Line. Okay, why do you like Red Line? I gotta hear this. <laughs> Red Line, Red Line is, you know, he's entertaining to me. <laughs> he's entertaining. He's uh, he's very well educated. He's self-schooled, I believe, too. Red Line's educated? Oh, yeah. That's news to me. <laughs> he's very educated. And uh, he's self-taught, too, from what I've heard. I heard he was self-taught. And um, he, he knows his stuff. I mean, no, you ever heard him argue with a flat earth, but he, he tears them apart. <laughs> okay, them apart. do you know who Forbidden Fruit is? That, no, I don't know that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. A lot of people, yeah. I, I don't know how to describe him to you, but he was a red-hot rookie coming on YouTube, getting everybody's attention. And then he said Christi Christians were um, mentally ill, and then he killed his whole career on YouTube. <laughs> See, now, when you say mentally ill, what do you mean by when you say mentally ill? No, that's not when I said that. He said that. He said that. Uh, well, I, I mean, what well, he said. It. What, that what, Christians what? suffer from, from a mental illness because they believe in God. See, I hold the position... Not so much of a ill. See, when you say mental illness, you gotta be a little bit precise. Like, I don't know. I don't. I can. You better be careful with this. Like I said, he I was. Well, he I was, said this on your. He show. was growing mad fast, and then he I've, disappeared. I said. I said <laughs> this on your hangout, so it's not like I. It's not like I haven't said this out in public. Before, All right, your funeral. I feel, I feel like. I mean, no, because you gotta understand what I'm saying. Yeah. I feel like. I feel like religion as a whole is a socially accepted psychosis. Now, when I say that, you got to understand what I'm saying. I'm saying a socially accepted psychosis. Mm. Uh, I'm not saying that people are necessarily mentally ill. I'm saying that I feel like they have been brainwashed and taught to believe a certain thing. And they, they have, like, almost like hypnotized. Like, that, like, I can't call a person who's been hypnotized mentally ill. Right, right, you right, know what I'm right. So yeah. I'm, not, I'm not necessarily saying that they're mentally ill, like right. something wrong with their brain. Right. I'm saying, what I'm saying is they've been deceived, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So that's, so when I say um, socially accepted psychosis, I'm, I'm more so referring to more so they've been hypnotized. Okay, earlier, 
you and I went to uh, we went to KFC, right? Uh -huh. And we go like this, like this. Okay, cool. So we went to KFC, and you kept referring to me as G Man, G Man, G Man, G Man, G Man. I can't say you can call me, you know, by my, by my first name. You know, we met, but yeah. you said something very interesting to me when when I said that to you. And what did you say? I said, um, well, pretty much, I'm going to respect you and you know try to call you by your username. And I want to, I want to stay in the habit of calling you by your username because I don't want to get too comfortable calling you by your regular name and me slipping up online and calling you by your regular name. Right. I respect you. Right. And you know, say way I want you to respect me and call me by my username. Right. You know right. What I'm right. You're so, psychopath, the atheist. Exactly. End of story. And I know what you told me. I can call you off the camera, and that to be off the camera, and only off the camera. Exactly. But I'm still going to refer to you as psychopath, atheist. Now there are some atheists on YouTube. Not, not a whole lot of them that get mad at me when I call them by their uh, their, eighth, their YouTube username because I have the same attitude as you. I don't want to get into a habit of using real names and real information right. as I get it over the years or over time or whatever when I know full well there are limitations to what I can use. So I'm one right. of these people, if my tongue get loose, I mean, I'll be mentioning a whole bunch of stuff I ain't got no pen to say. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in, you know, keeping people privacy you know what I'm saying? Like holding on to people's privacy. Like if people tell me things, it's between me and that person. You know what I'm saying? Like conversation stays here. Right. You know, when, when, you know, when we hang up or get off air, whatever the case may be, yeah. this conversation never happened. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. whatever. Like, you know, I respect people's privacy. You play basketball, don't you? Oh yeah, I used to play AU. All right, all right, cool. One day we gotta play some ball, man. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely got to got to do something recreational and get that on camera one day for the, uh, for these YouTubers that's out there. But uh, let me see something here. Uh, let's do another word association, and then we we'll get back to the actual informal thing here and whatnot. Uh -huh. Let's do one more name. Uh, hmm, two more. Shani for Christ. What's your opinion? Now you know. Be careful. What you say. no three more names. Shani for Christ is one. Uh, now you be careful what you say about my sister, all right? <laughs> I don't, again, I don't know a ton about her besides what I hear, and I don't like judging people. I don't like giving opinions about people off. What other people's opinions are, I like to like get form my, formulate my own opinions. Right. Like, I'm a free thinker, right. so I, 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 you know, I, I make up my own thoughts. Like I, right. don't, I don't allow people to manipulate how I think. Right. So, but from what I've gathered from her, from the little bit I saw, mm -hmm. I, um, she seems like a decent person. I think right. she's going through some things, <laughs> and I think she needs, you know, you know, just, you know, figure out what what it is she needs to do to get herself back on track. So yeah, Shani, Shani's a wonderful, genuine uh, human being. You uh -huh. know what I mean? It's, it's just um, with Shani sometimes I know I know she gets a little emotional, but I don't got no room to talk because I get really emotional when you do. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so the next person is Brett Keen. Now I know you're an atheist, and I know a lot of you got strong opinions about the guy. But uh, have you been to any of his hangouts? What's your opinion about the first atheist on YouTube, Brett Keen? Well, he's not an atheist no more, but you know, well, what's your opinion of him? Uh, he, he came in the hangout the other day and we were in there talking and um i don't know he he, he likes to poke at atheists i know i know that uh <laughs> he seems to have a problem with tj he has a major problem with tj i don't think him and tj get along too much um i don't really have an opinion about him that's he, he likes to troll that 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 that'll be my first opinion about him he likes to troll do you think that brett king's intelligent i think that brett king's got a head on his shoulders more so than people give him credit, but, um, uh, and Brett's not going to like me saying this. I think he can be a manipulator sometimes. Um, what's your opinion that, of that? I, I could see how you would say something like that. You know, um, I haven't personally seen him manipulate people, but I see him manipulate conversation. Mm -hmm. So I could totally see how, how you could say something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, what was the other thing you asked me about him manipulating what? Uh... About him being like a, well, actually, what is it? Uh, about him having a head on his shoulders and being oh, smart. Oh, yeah, well, he's nah, definitely smart. smart. He's not a dummy. I, mean, I don't think he's stupid. I think um, I question how intellectually honest he is. Let's just put it like that. I don't think he's stupid, though. I don't think he's stupid. He knows more about the sciences than I do. I give him credit for that. Yeah. But I mean, again, I don't mess with Bright Keen because he seems like a manipulator to me. That's personally. what I say. Like, I question how intellectually honest he is. So, you know, like, uh, but I don't think he's stupid, no. Right, right. Okay, so let's talk about uh, one more person. Let's see, we're talking about Brett, Shani. Uh, who was the other person? Oh, Galaxy Dreams. And you be real careful what you say about her. Like <laughs> that's, my best, that's one of my best friends. I'm about to say, I like Tanya. I ain't got nothing cool. bad to say about Tanya. Cool. She's real cool. Yeah. I got nothing bad to say about her. What's going on, Tanya? 
I ain't got nothing bad to say about it at all. Yeah, I, 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 I love me some Galaxy Dreams. Galaxy, yeah. if you're watching this, that was for you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, Galaxy Dreams recently deconverted into atheism about a year and some change ago. But uh, I don't care if she's an atheist or a Christian. She's a good friend to me. And, yeah, a, and a, a very person. genuine, sweet person. Yeah. And doesn't deserve the heat and the hate that she gets on the internet. She I just agree. doesn't. I agree. Let her go through what she's going through. And let's see what happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I guess my last one is Lee Lemon. Do you know? Do you know who she is? Yeah, I, I uh, discovered Lee Lemon about a year or two ago. That's so another genuine individual on YouTube. Yeah, she seems that way. I've never spoken to her, but I watched her stuff. And yeah, she seems very genuine. You know, seems like a real nice person or whatever. I know she's in the fitness a lot. Yes. She's a vegan, I believe. Uh, I don't know about a vegan, but maybe know, she recently became one. I watch her eat some. I, I watch her eat some pretty gross things on her channel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Lee, I, I gotta say something about Lee Lemon on here, and I'm gonna admit this to everyone who's watching this into you, okay? Uh, Lee Lemon um, is probably the only atheist I probably will be in the room with, and I mean the only one who can actually convince me that she might be a genuine atheist because it's hard. To debate with her sometimes because sometimes I talk to her privately on Skype or we'll talk on uh, cow talk or whatever and and it's just hard with her sometimes like I don't want to attack her the way I attack other people because she's not a jerk I yeah. believe the only reason she's on YouTube answer talking about atheism is because people ask her questions aside exactly. from that she'll talk to you about exactly. everything else but that exactly and that's know? how I am you know I come up in the rooms I'm not in there looking to attack theists you know, like, most theists who ever talk to me in the rooms and tell you this, like, I just don't go on attack mode. Like, oh, when I see a theist, I don't, I don't, I'm not like a hungry lion, like, looking at the, the meat on the ground, like, ready to attack. Right. You know, like, you know, like, if they, if they, <laughs> Say that again, like a hungry lion with meat on the ground, right? Yeah, like, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't take that position. And, you know, like, I'm, again, I'm more about the social issues, more so than um, the whole God debate. The God debate, I entertain it, I talk about it. I do have an opinion on it, strong opinion, but I, that's not my... Um, that's not who you are as a person. You'd rather talk about other stuff. Exactly. I got other stuff that's higher on my totem pole that I need to tackle other than religion. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. And you're somebody in the great debate community, new, kind of new to it and everything. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. and by the way, what is your opinion of the great debate community right now? Do you think that the people in the great debate community are being honest? On both sides, or you think uh, there's some people on here that need to stop lying? <laughs> well, well, it depends on what you're talking about about being honest. You mean being honest about their worldview? Yes. I because there's some people on here just arguing with their heads, I and they just majority, got bored and ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> I, think, I do think majority. No, well, I do think they are honest as far as their worldview. Now, I do think that everybody. I do think that a lot of people that's within the great debate community that do argue are not so much in it for uh, so much to try to disprove a god or to try to prove a god mm -hmm. i think a lot of these people are just they just love the debate they yeah love the, like they probably used to be on debate teams <laughs> you know, they, you know, they study philosophy yeah you know what i'm saying and you know yeah. they, they, they study philosophy they want they're eager to try to use they, that philosophy and certain philosophies of certain people and see if it works and try to master this philosophy on this right, and this, right. that, and anything else, you know. And like, for me, I just like, that's not where I'm at with it. Like, I don't get entertained by trying to figure out different philosophies to take down theism. Like, I come in here and with me, it's more of a psychological warfare. Right, right. And, you know, a battle of the mind. And I'm, I'm not, I, like, I use philosophy but I don't even know the name of the philosophies that I use. Like, somebody else could probably tell me the philosophies that I'm using better than I can. Yeah, but, like Dragon. Yeah, because I don't, because I don't get yeah. all caught up in the. So let's you use this tactic. The, the, the you're cool with Dragon, though, right? Yeah, I, I like Dragon. Yeah. yeah like okay. Dragnaut. Now you met me in person, now, right? Yeah. If me and Dragon met, what do you think? What would happen if me and him met? You think he would like me, or think you think he would want to? Get a shovel, go in his would, backyard and dig a hole in it and put I me think, in it. <laughs> I, heard you, I heard you in the past say that Dragnaut wants to kill you. <laughs> he wants to get his M16, blow my head off, put <laughs> me in a hole and kill me like 12 times over. <laughs> I don't believe that. I don't I'm going to meet him one day. I'm going to prove he wants to do it. I'm going to go to Maryland one day. I I'm going to go meet him. <laughs> I, I, totally, I totally don't believe he wants to kill you, D-Man. I, I do believe... I do
don't believe you got him so upset certain times where he actually probably wanted to punch you or something like that. But I oh, don't man. think he actually wanted to whip out a gun and kill you. I don't believe that. I, yeah, I would love for him to come in this neighborhood. You know, and, and, and I'm not saying he's a punk or nothing like that. But I want to see him come into like a neighborhood like this. Come here with that. Well, okay, I, I ain't got nothing against proper English, so let me let me change what I'm gonna say. Come in here, talking the way he talks, acting the way he's acting, acting like black people ain't educated, and coming over here talking to me the way he talked to me on the internet. I'll that would be some funny mess. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll drag not hold the business that black people aren't educated. I think he thinks we're all stupid, but him. I really believe that. I think he thinks he's the only black intelligent person on YouTube. I don't. I don't think. He, I. 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 I don't want to say that's his position. I don't think that's his position. He never came across that way to me. Sure, I got to go watch his material. Never, um, <laughs> I mean, he, he's an intellectual. I mean, you know, he, he's. A, you know, he's in college. You know, he's studying biology. He needs to go study some people skills. And, <laughs> and you know, he, and, um, he's, a, he's a real intelligent dude. You know what I'm saying? And, you yeah. know, he likes to. He likes to floss. He likes to floss his intellect. Okay. And I, I don't. I don't have a problem with him doing that. I don't. But he never came across. And somebody who thought he was like, at least I would be. He never thought came across like he was better than me. You know, we didn't have a lot of conversation. Right. Um, he, but he does like to be. He, he's he's an intellectual. And he likes to be challenged intellectually. And you I know, can challenge him intellectually. Why is he an atheist? And that's the question I'm gonna ask you. Why are you an atheist? Let's have some fun here for I'm a little a, bit. Well, Why are you an atheist? I'm an atheist because I've never found a rational reason to believe in God other than the fact that everybody else believes it. I never found the uh, I, I never found the rational, reason, good reason to believe in the guy. Okay. And I tried to find it. This is not a debate. This is just us, just us yeah, having a conversation. Talking, talking. So, so my question for you is this: You heard me use this argument with other atheists on YouTube. Do you uh, think that my argument is horrible, like so many other atheists are, are saying, or do you think I'm asking a legitimate question? Should they have a legitimate reason for being an atheist? Yes or no? I feel like you should have a, a legitimate reason for any worldview you hold. Regardless of what it is, let me shake your hand on that one. Very Regardless good. Regardless of what you. it is, you know, you should have a legitimate reason. Like, you know, you should. I feel like I'm gonna say something that might be a little bit unpopular. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna. Because this is just the way I feel. Yeah. I feel like you do have some atheists that are atheists by default, and not necessarily because they hold like not necessarily because they came to this um, conclusion. After a lot of research, a right. lot of like, and I'm mainly talking about is a lot of people within the LBGT community that I personally feel kind of um, fell into atheism. Better be careful; because, they'll eat you alive on because, YouTube, man. <laughs> no, I'm not saying it's the case at all. <laughs> okay, all right. I, I, right. I want to make sure I'm saying. I want to specify that I'm not talking about everybody. Yeah. But I do think there's a, a a bigger portion that people would like to admit. Within the LBGT community, now I'm talking about the former theists now that became atheists because they church probably rejected it. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Well, and, mom and dad made them go to church and they got tired of it and they went to rebel. Yeah, that or no, yeah. not even so much that. It's just the fact that they had these feelings that they're gay and you know they decided to come out, but they know that once they did that, the church was going to reject it. Right. Because a lot of churches don't accept that. Right. And you do have a select, small few churches that will accept it. Right. And won't look and won't frown upon it. But right. And you have a large contingency of churches that will reject you if you come out like that. If I was going to a church and I had a brother or a sister uh, uh, or a visitor or whoever comes uh -huh. to my church and tells me that, you know, I'm no longer straight, I'm gay, this is how I'm feeling, these are the feelings I'm having, do you accept me? First of all, I'm going to say, yes, I accept you. But secondly, I'm going to say, but you're in sin. And you have to know where my head, where, where my mindset is on this. You want me to accept you with the lifestyle that you have? Fine. I, I, I accept the fact that you have these feelings for the same sex. However, I'm going to have the mentality that you're also in sin, and that God and, 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 and that God is not happy with that, and it's something that you need to look at. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. uh, and, and that's how and that's how I would begin the the conversation with them. And I think that's a biblical way to do it. Yeah, I mean, like like I said. But not, to uh, but to outright just get away from a person, don't. Talk to them no more and all this other stuff. See, I don't know about that. that. Position that you hold that within the church, right? And you know, like, and like I said, and you got a lot of people. You know, their own families rejected right? When they come out. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like again, and that can turn them into an atheist by default. You know what I'm saying? That will that can make them turn to the people that you think all atheists are, which is people that are hating God. Like that that can make them hate God because they they because they can turn their back on because they look at it, they could be looking at it. I'm just stepping outside myself for a second and trying to view things the way they probably view it. They probably looking at it like, 
you know, like, God hates me, so I'm going to hate him back, you know, like, I'm going to reject him now because he hates me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and by nature, that would make them atheists by default. Right, right. Not because they actually wanted to be atheists, because the church accepted them, they probably would have never converted to atheists. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay, I, I, I hear what you're saying, and I and I think there's some stupid things that the churches are doing today. I'll have to save that for another video, because I'll be talking forever on that one. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. even Christians are going to disagree with me if I start talking about that, but a lot of them can't deny. Uh -huh. You know, our pastors are not handling this situation in the best way, especially if they're getting on there saying that we need to kill uh, gays. That's stupid, and I will never That's support a pastor stupid. with that. Like and I would be the first one to tell them they, that they, they need to step down as a pastor and get lost because they don't know what they're talking about. You know about like the Westboro Church, right? Oh, yeah, Westboro about the church is not Christian. I don't care what nobody said. Well, you, know, you, know, you know, I got into an argument with them last year, right? Did you go to their church? No, I was um, I was going, I was at a graduation out in Kansas, and they was out there protesting the graduation. You know, they like to the mess with colleges. Yeah. And they was out there, yeah, doing what they normally do. And I, I saw them out there, and I got, I got upset. I got upset with them because, you know, that's, that's a day of graduation. You know, these kids went to school for paid a lot of money to go to school too. They, they went there for years. Yeah. And this, and this is this is their day of celebration. And you out here protesting with your foolishness and this, that, and the third. You know, trying to condemn them. I'll say this though. Like, that's, and a lot of Christians heard me say this in the past, and they didn't like it. But I'll say this again. If, if, if I'm ever at a funeral and I lose a loved one or I'm at a place where I'm, I'm sad and depressed and, and I see them out there saying the same things that they're saying and, and, and they're doing it to my family or, or they're doing it to my loved ones or people who I don't think are deserving of it. Oh, as a matter of fact, if I see them doing it, period, and I'm in a state of depression, oh, boy, you thought you thought Bullhorn Gate was something on the internet. I will go there and rip their ears apart, man. I I'm would, telling you. You know what? I would, I would respect you for doing it. I would respect you for doing it because, like, that's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a time and place for everything. And it's... And that, they, if that's a worthy cause of going to jail. I'll yeah. go to jail with a smile on my face on that day. There's a, there's a time and place for everything, and it's a respectful way to do everything. And they yeah. choose to do neither. They don't choose to pick the right time and place, and they don't choose to be respectful whatsoever. Right. And I, I don't... I, mean, yeah, I got a problem with them. And it's people like them that turn people anti-thieves. Let's talk about Bullhorn Gate for a moment, because a lot of people probably want to hear get your opinion on that. Uh, as you know, I was in Fiona's Hangout, and I was not being respected in the Google Hangout. I don't believe I was being respected, and I don't believe they was giving me a fair chance to talk. So I decided to troll, and which is exactly what I did. I got my bullhorn, and I trolled, okay? Unfortunately, Jade was going through a, it has a hearing thingy or whatever, and I apologized to Jade, because I didn't know about her hearing problem, okay? I did not apologize to Dragnut, still thinking about if I should do it or not. A lot of Christians are getting on my case because of it. I, I might, I might. But Dragon is going to have to come to my channel and let me do it face to face because if I do it, they'll claim I never did it. You know what I mean? So, uh, and, and even with Jade, some of them are saying that, um, some of them are saying that I wasn't genuine when I did it. Oh, I was being genuine. Because I really, me and Jade, I really don't like, I, I, my thing with Jade is, is that, again, she's a Roman Catholic. She, she, de she defends evolution and we got some doctrinal disagreements, obviously. You know what I mean? But as a person, I think she's okay. However, uh, Dragnut has been on my on my case for a while now. Okay? And I look at, at him as being an internet bully. And I felt like he got what he deserved. After, but you know what? As a Christian, uh, I agree with the Christians when they're saying that, that what I did was not godly. I was not doing Jesus a favor when I did it. And at some point, I am going to have to apologize to him. But... I'm gonna have to like get my head around how he treats other people on the internet, like using people's names and and and, and just treating people like trash, thinking he's like God and whatnot on YouTube by talking about how smart he is and how dumb everybody else is. He has no humility whatsoever in that department. He needs to work on it. So my question for you, as far as Bullhorn Gate goes, what is your opinion about the whole thing? Do you think that G-Man was being a jerk, or do you think that G-Man that they had that coming <laughs> the way I was treated in the hangout? Well, they, um. <laughs> The whole, and I'm talking about Dragnet. Jade, I, I, I already I apologized. Remember, yeah. I'm, just, I'm trying to remember everything that led up to that. Yeah. Um, I Fiona. remember y'all was got into a heated debate. Uh huh. And um, it was mainly between you and Fiona. Right. And um, I know y'all two have a lot of issues with each other as far as biblical um, <laughs> theology and, and science and yeah, character and all that other yeah, stuff. <laughs> like I, so I know y'all two like to go back and forth with each other. And that's cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you know, like. And y'all, y'all, you know, y'all got a little things got a little bit heated. Yeah. I saw, I, I saw. Let's see. I don't think Dragnot should have did what he did as far as like 
you know, threatening to put some stuff out there. But that was after you used the bullhorn. I had a comment. I'll admit that. Yeah. I had that comment because yeah. he was mad. He, he was yeah, really exactly. mad. I and if I would have been in a room with him, he would have hit me. I know he would have. Yeah. And it would have been a fight and we both would have been in jail. Yeah, y'all probably would have fought that night. Y'all probably would have fought that night if, that was, if y'all was all in person. Yeah. And, but, like, and, you know, he did that after you did the whole bullhorn thing. Yeah. And, you, you, and, you know, and yeah. I, the first time you did it, you know, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, he wild it. But you know, <laughs> it's like, gee, man, don't you <laughs> dare do that. Okay, you're on the that's internet, and I'm on the internet. I'm like, wait a minute, what you gonna do? When, Reach out and touch someone? <laughs> yeah. And see, that's when I felt like you crossed the line when they asked you, because the first time you did it, I probably wouldn't have said anything because you no, know, they asked you to not do it again. Right, if right, you right, did right. it again, I would have left it alone. Right, but you right. You did it about three or four more times after they asked you <laughs> not to do it, and I was like, gee, man, wild it. Okay. But, but you know what though? They wasn't listening to me. They was claiming I wasn't listening to them. They're treating me like garbage. Like I'm coming to your channel as a guest. You know what I mean? That ain't how you treat your guests. Are fine. You want to treat me with respect? I got something for you. <laughs> but but I'm not gonna do that again. I definitely know that, that I, I shouldn't be doing stuff like that. So yeah, like you know, like you know, like you know, I'll, I'll just try to like I know some. I, I'm not the person to say don't you know be passionate. Or uh, like, are uh, you was dead wrong for getting upset and going on a rant or a top? Cause people know I can go into a rant. Like, I, right, I, I right. Do, I do my rant thing. Right. And you know, like, usually I have good reason though. I don't just fly off half top for no reason. Right. Because usually people took me somewhere that they shouldn't have took me. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And then mm -hmm. once that happens, I just black out and it's like, it, you just let me get it all out my system because I'm going to get it out. Right. But um. Yeah, like I try to be respectful with them when I'm within these rooms, and you know, as much. But it's as hard, especially in Nadia's room. It's very hard in Nadia's rooms. Yeah. Because because a, everybody got my control. Anyone can mute you and 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 uh, and yeah. what do you call it? And uh, and unbroadcast you. Nadia don't really it's moderate kind of her rooms. And, it's kind of a you know, free for all. It's a Nadia's circus. Is, <laughs> if you're looking for a formal debate. That is not the channel to go to. You're rolling the dice if you go in the Nadia's room. If you want, if you want to. A formal debate, you know what I'm saying? You're rolling the dice because, like, yeah. like you said, it's, it's kind of a free fall. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you, know, you know, only the strong survive. You know, like Nadia always giving me the link to come in her room and say, "I'm not going in. I'm getting sick and tired of Ocean um broadcasting me and not letting me talk." And and I got other I people like doing that. You don't like Ocean? Ocean is more respectful than than than, than a lot of the atheists that come in that room. But uh, I don't like the fact that they are allowed to call me the N word in the chat. I don't think you've been in a room when that's happened. Or they're allowed to do it, and then they stay in the room. They don't uh, kick them out. But if I mute them or ignore them, which is my YouTube right to do that, you know what I mean? I'm kicked out the room? Well, let me no. say this. Let Has anybody ever this. called you the N word on there and then uh, you just let it go and didn't say anything let or whatever? Let me say this. They couldn't call you the N word around me without me saying something. And I'm an atheist. Mm -hmm. And we all know you're a theist, so like right. I, I, that don't fly around me. You know what I'm saying? See, like this, this is what people gotta understand. At the end of the day, you know, like we, me and you, don't agree on our worldviews, but we don't disagree on everything. Right. You know what I'm saying like we agree on a lot of social issues, though. Exactly. A lot and, of them. And at the end of the day, you know, you're my brother. You know, like. Um, in humanity, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not, maybe not a brother in Christ. Yeah, but, but in humanity, yeah. Yeah, you, you are my brother. You right, I saying? agree. Anything, anything, anything. While we here on this earth, you're right while we here that. on this you're earth, right you my brother. Right. So, um, <laughs> like, and I'm not going to sit up here and have somebody like you can. They can argue with you about your worldviews all day long. They can like anything else. I don't. That's all free game. That's what the great debate is all for. Right. That's all free game. I, right. I'm, I'm stepping out of it. Right. But if they start taking it outside of that once they take it outside of the realm of the great debate mm -hmm. start dropping racial slurs towards you or whatever that mm -hmm. i'm not having that exactly i'm not having not exactly. around me at least you exactly know, you, you, if you do it don't make sure i'm not around you know yeah. what i'm saying because i'm going to say something dry nut somebody i dry nut's not my favorite person in the world but if somebody would have come in the room and start calling him that nonsense you know first of all i kick him out my room immediately because exactly. i'll be offended for both of us because you know what i mean because at, at the end of the day I would tell the is this, like, if, if you got, if, 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 if um, like, let, let's say, let's say, let's say you were walking down the street, right? Mm hmm And like, right down the street, right here, and a bunch of clan men just started jumping on top of you, um, started um, hitting you and, and and dragging you around and everything else. And there's a white thief on the other side of the street, and I'm right here. Mm hmm Who you got money on that's going to come over there and help? You? <laughs> 
Who do you think is going to help you? That white thieves on the other side of the street or me? Who, who, I'm not, maybe the white thieves will help you. But who do you who do you, who do you have your money on who come over and be quicker to come uh, over there and come help? I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna plead the fifth on that one, but but I get I totally understand what you're saying though, because it depends on the circumstance. You're, yeah. you're right about I, that. Again, it I'm not saying yeah. all white thieves wouldn't help. I'm just saying the odds are yeah. most of them would would probably mind their business or some might even try to join in. Well, the funny thing is, the reason why I'm being quiet about it is because this happens all the time around here. Exactly. So, so you know, it, it, not something, it's, not a, it's not one of those what-ifs that never, that's never going to happen. This yeah. is something that happens every day over here, so. Exactly. So, you know, so like, it just depends. It depends. You got some people out there that's lukewarm, some people out there that are serious, some people talk the talk but don't walk the walk, you know yeah. what I mean? But, you know, it just depends. Like, I'm not, I'm like, like I tell people, like, everybody knows I'm a black nationalist. I'm all for black liberation of my people. Right. You know, I'm not a racist. I'm not prejudiced. I love everybody. Galaxy Dreams is one of my um, better friends on here. And Galaxy exactly. Dreams ain't black. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm not a racist. I'm not prejudiced. But what I what I am is I'm knowledgeable. I'm conscious. I know what I am, where where I came from, and where I need to be going. Are there some uh, atheists who want to say hello to right now? Uh, you're standing face to face with G, man. So, you, you, any atheists on here you want to say hello to? Hey, hey, anybody that shows me love, you know what I mean? Y'all know me, y'all show me love. Shout out to y'all. You know, like. And let everybody know who you are again. Oh, it's your boy Psychopathius. You know, like, you know, that's my name on YouTube. Psycho Atheist, whatever, you know. You've seen him on G Man versus the World a couple of times. You've seen yeah, him in my group going out. Catch me floating around, commenting. <laughs> I might have trolled up your video a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, isn't, isn't it funny that, that when we finally get to meet each other, it's just different, right? Versus yeah. being on the net, you know, messing with each other all the time. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> you know, like, like, G-Man, G-Man's an I do, you know what I'm saying? Like, G-Man's an I do, you know, he, you know, he, 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 You better not say that, man, because they're going to hate you. <laughs> they're like, you I mean, said you what? You know, like, yeah. <laughs> G-Man's a liar. He's stolen safe. G-Man did all this other stuff. You know what I should do? I should take you to the police department and show you a little secret. And and, 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 and show you the, the, the police officer that said to me that uh, you can take it. Don't worry about it. And I got the forms and the papers to prove it. I really should do that and then tell you don't tell nobody. You know what I mean? These atheists on YouTube are stupid. They're just stupid. Yeah. <laughs> and my, some of them. Not all of them. Because you obviously all of them don't see the things that they're saying. And none of them call up the police so they're not confident about what they're saying. And if they ever do... I'm gonna sue them for character defamation. I need the money, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean so you know, but you know, G Man's a cool dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, we, we chopped it up a couple of times off. That's a KFC. Yeah, you know, we we, we was kicking it a little earlier, you know. Yeah. And, and yeah, man, like, you know, I, I have no issues. I, I, like I said, outside the fact that we disagree as far as um or the whole great debate aspect. You got to talk to Ken on the phone. I, I talk to kid on the phone, you know, like I, like I said, like just because I disagree with somebody with within the great debate as far as the worldview, don't mean I hate him. Right. It don't right. mean I got a problem with him. Right. We just disagree on something. Right. That's right. All, that's all it is, you know. Like you don't, you don't have to disagree. You don't have to hate a person to disagree with. Him. Right. Like that, it's, it's not the same. Right. Right. So uh, we kind of at the hour and like a uh, twelve or thirteen minute mark. Is there anything that you wanna? Um, well, 14 minute mark because you got to count the intro and everything. Yeah. Uh, is there anything that you want to say to the fine folks of YouTube um, as a closing remark of this conversation? Not a debate because some people were yeah, probably it's saying. Yeah, not a debate. We're just kicking it. We're just chopping it up. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to try to talk Psycho into inter to, uh, interviewing me so he can put it on his channel. And yeah. everybody, go watch that interview because uh, you won't be disappointed. And you know Psycho's going to ask me to tell questions, so. Yeah, I'll ask you to tell questions. <laughs> I'll definitely ask you to tell questions. <laughs> All right, so uh, if you ain't got nothing else to say, I'm going to wrap this up, right? Yeah, man. Holler at me, man. Make sure y'all sub up my channel. I'm putting up a whole lot more content real soon and start flooding y'all with videos. So, yeah, make sure y'all hit me up. Y'all know what it is. All right, so guys, atheists and Christians can actually have a conversation. We ain't trying to kill each other. I don't want to kill you. Please stop trying to kill me. This man right here and I, you know, was able to eat, talk, chill. We're going to go maybe play a little basketball in a couple of minutes. We get a couple more people over there, if you know what I mean. They're right over there playing ball. But those are like little kids, little scrubs. I ain't got no time for no scrubs, so I don't know. Yeah. But until next time, guys, it's been another edition of uh, Preaching to the Choir Ministries. Letting you all of you know to read your Bible and do what it says. God bless.